Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you one of my favorite scents from Guerlain. This is called Queer Beluga. I have here a sample, an original sample from them and I will uh, go through this sample with you, tell you what I think about the scent and um, then at the end you'll hear my rating for this perfume. So if you'd like to learn more about Queer Beluga by Guerlain, please stay tuned. This is a scent which I know since about 10 years. I was once coming home from work uh, and I was in subway and somebody in front of me was wearing this scent and when I, I was sitting there and going towards my station and I felt this this nice unknown scent for me because back then I wasn't so much into perfumery like now and I simply asked the person like sorry um, I think you smell very nice what do you wear and uh, this lady she told me I'm wearing queer beluga I was like what is queer beluga and then I searched I looked online and so on and I saw that is Guerlain but the impact the sillage the the complexity of the smell was so strong and that's uh, the moment in which Cure Beluga from Guerlain, so this special line from Guerlain, L'Art de la Matier, how they like to call it, came under my radar for me, let's say. In here I have only a sample, I also had a few bottles so far. Um, the new refillable bottle, I also had one, but somehow I had the impression that this is not a scent that even if they advertise it as unisex, this is not a scent that I would see myself wearing. They only do this to get more client, no? Because if they say it's for women, as a man you think, uh, well, it's for women, I will not try because it's for women. Why would I try a women's perfume the same way? as it is with Chanel Coromandel. That's a perfume advertised for women. And now recently, since they raised the prices again, I went into a Chanel boutique and I said, oh, Coromandel is such a nice perfume for women. And the lady, the sales lady said, no, 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 wait, that's a unisex perfume. But we know that back in the day, Coromandel was launched as for women. The same as Queer Beluga. I remember that it was originally launched for women and now they advertise it as unisex. Why not? So back to the scent. This is a scent that was created in 2005. So it's almost 20 years old. This is a uh, sweet powdery. The perfumer behind this creation, his name is Olivier Polge. And um, he's also the person who created a lot of very famous Chanel perfumes like Bleu de Chanel as example. I have here the Eau de Parfum, which is uh, one of my favorites. Funny fact about Olivier Polge is that he's the in-house perfumer for uh, Chanel at the moment. And back in the day, he created the one of the best sellers from Guerlain. This is just to give you um, an idea of how um, the quality of the work of a perfumer can be uh, experienced at the early stages and then he, this perfumer will have a great career ahead. The same as Maison Francis Kurchan. So Francis Kurchan, he created Le Mal for Jean-Paul Gaultier when he was 25 years old, if I'm not mistaken. And now he has his own house and he is the in-house perfumer for Dior. So, as a side note. Now back to the Queer Beluga. Um, I will now spray it directly on the skin because I like this scent very much and today I'm not wearing any scent so I will uh, spray it. It's very very pleasant I can tell you this and the start is very classy and it gives you this impression of a very well-dressed person. So I'm not very well dressed right now I don't have a tie but a very well-dressed person, be it a man, be it a woman. In top notes, you'll have aldehydes, which is a Chanel note, but it has also here aldehydes, mandarin orange. In heart notes, you'll have an everlasting flower and patchouli. And in base notes, you'll have vanilla, sud, amber, and heliotrope. Yeah, this is um, a scent that it doesn't have so many notes, but they are working so well um, together, these notes. So 
I can say that uh, at the beginning you'll feel a bit of aldehydes, you'll feel a bit of mandarin orange and this flower, this everlasting flower with this um, sweetness, let's say, it's also a bit perceivable in, in these early stages but all the time when I, when I had this perfume on me and when I smelled it on my wife and when I smelled it also years ago what you get is high quality suit so these suit gloves and vanilla nothing else so it's very powdery but powdery in this in this suit sweet note we are all subjective we have our own um, preferences for the scents and I like very complex scents I like scents which have a story to tell and I like scents which also develop a little I think Queer Beluga from Guerlain is a scent that it's quite stable in its nuance. It will not evolve, become, I don't know, like the, the Roja Oligarch, which even after one or two hours becomes a bit different and it changes and the smell is like what you spray is what you get with Queer Beluga. It's a scent that for good reason is one of the best sellers from Guerlain, there is no doubt about it. But there is a big but. But I think for a uh, high quality suit combined with a bit of sweetness from the other notes and yeah look now about 10 minutes after I sprayed the only thing I can smell is suit and vanilla and maybe a bit of heliotrope which gives you this good mood and that's it. So if this is what you're looking for and you are a person who only wants to have this, let's say, understated, beautiful scent that will last long, but it's, um, so this is linea. It will stay like this and it will die off of your skin or clothes like this. So it's very pleasant, but it's nothing else than sweet suit note. I had originally that uh, old design of a bottle uh, back in the day in 2020. I purchased one uh, when they were still available before Guerlain changed the design. That one was of course advertised for women. I said okay, usually these niche perfumes are unisex. I sprayed it on myself. It was sued and vanilla and I said Ugh, it's not a good purchase. I don't want to smell like sued and vanilla all the time. Like I thought that through the complexity of the notes maybe it will be a bit different but it wasn't. So I sold that bottle. Then I made the sharing on Parfumo and I got myself the refillable big bottle from Guerlain before they raised the prices again. And also I can say that uh, my wife doesn't particularly like the Cure Beluga. This is a best seller for Guerlain, which is soon 20 years old. So this is a scent for a person which um, doesn't like too much the mainstream and um, if you are someone who likes to stay very discreet and you don't like to announce your presence like with some other powerful perfumes I think this is a nice classy alternative to many others from the market so it's a scent that of course will not be very powerful but will be very pleasant once somebody comes close to you and will smell you. So I think it's overpriced. Guerlain is a part of Louis Vuitton group and of course the price policy of this, uh, this beauty brands from the Louis Vuitton group is that they are not getting any discount, they are as expensive as possible, but also gladly or uh, luckily they have very good creations and very good perfumers behind the scents. So, this in here is a scent created by the current in-house perfumer from Chanel and this should tell us something. So it is a great creation by a great perfumer. I don't know how actual this still is in this day and age when we are having so many good alternatives for better prices. A 200 milliliter bottle, if I'm not mistaken, now costs around 430 euro or something similar and 450 even um, it's a bit too much and as a conclusion I think um, this is a pleasant smell this is a smell that you will enjoy just for yourself because it's not as powerful as once was and most likely um, many people who 
are close to you will not even perceive it because it's very, very intimate. Knowing how it was back in the day when I uh, was in that subway and the smell from this beautiful queer beluga was everywhere, it's a pity, to be honest, that in, in, in the today's formulations, in the today's batches, it's not as it used to be. So overall, I like it. I will use this sample, but I will not get a bottle for myself. Thank you for watching this video until the end. I uh, hope to see you soon on the channel again. And please let me know in the comments below, what do you think about Queer Beluga from Gerland? So stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.